Okie dokie, in this video, i um, just going to go over renaming some files in Git. Um, this is the case of when you have um, a file name where, um, you, want to check, where it's, you just want to change the case on the actual name rather than the full file name. Um, so I had I some issues with um, the local host blog, which is the sort of the blog I'm making for I'm sort of transitioning my blog.scottspence.me into um, that blog. Um, and um, I, I just got running into some issues with um, using uh, not Netlify now, Zites now. Um, and I had to rename one of the hooks files. Um, and because of that, I had to, all I had to do was change the case on it. Um, I, I've just decided to um, do that on the rest of the code here. So um, it was for a hook, um, and I just renamed it from use type metadata in camel case over to um, kebab case here. So um, I just looked in there to, for the rest of the components where the the, the 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 actual word didn't change, but the casing did. So I'm on um, Linux. So it's not much of uh, an issue for me, but for like on my my uh, my work Mac, um, it becomes a bit of an issue with that. So there's also an option to um, mount the file system as um, case sensitive, um, but in this instance, I'm just going to go through uh, Git MV. Um, we do git mv and we do dash f force it and then we just pick out the file we want to use so source and we're going to do it for dump so that's in components and it's dump and then we're going to rename it source components dump little d um got caps lock on no dump Dump. Oh, right, that's actually finished the whole word. Uh, Fish was trying to be too helpful there and uh, just, just recreate what I had on the left hand side. So, yeah, enter for that. See that dump got renamed here. Um, so, I just want to go through the rest of them header and layout for my incredibly complex site we've got set up here. <clears throat> Change that and then layout. Okay. Cool, and uh, so on. So I've renamed hooks already, um, my pages. So the only thing is uh, this page elements here. I'm going to rename that as well. So I haven't tried it with a folder yet, but let's try components, um, page elements. And then we'll try uh, Cirrus components. Page elements. That goes. Okay, cool. So um, let's try and run this. So I need to do yarn dev. And we'll see how that goes. Excuse me, I'm saying a sip of coffee. I'm not sure if um, changing it actually reflects it on the project as well. So let's. Um, Take a look. So let's find code. Let's find what's not used in a post. That's the worst thing to search for there, Scott. Let's try that. Here you go, root wrapper. Okay, so um, I need to refactor this in all of my 
components so luckily for me at the moment it's not a great deal but um let's do that and um yeah i mean that is i mean it is just just the one project here the one component here. so if i can just do uh page elements here wait for intelligence to kick in and encode so that's that done too so yeah i mean that is um that um that's it. I mean, that is um, just how you'd rename a case sensitive file in Git. Um, and that's it for this video. Um, so for um, this project, like I said earlier, there's there's been a lot of um, me refactoring posts because I'm moving over from my current blog. Um, so there's, there's a fair bit going on there, but for any sort of coding stuff we're going to be changing, um, I'm trying to make it into um, a video for each one of them just so we can you know follow along as to, to what I've been doing with that um, but for this video that's it thanks for watching and goodbye